Hola art lovers, welcome to Kalaya. Today I am going to show you how to sketch portrait of Kiara Advani. So for that I have used Baristo pencil 10B, Fabricastel pencil 2B and HB, A3 drawing sheet, kneadable eraser, cotton to smudge and brush. So all these material you will be watching in this tutorial how to use it. So for the sketch to make I have used grid method. For that I have taken 17 by 17 into 12 boxes vertically and horizontally each box of 2.2 cm so I really find this way very easy and it gives you an accurate measurement and it, re it really has a good result there are various apps also through which you can you know make this grid I'll be sharing it in the description box below. Also, I'll be sharing the links of all the materials I have used in this uh, video. So, you can find out in the description box below. So, I first like to draw the sketch with HB and then I move on to 2B. And if you are a beginner, you must use HB pencil first to draw your sketch or if you are doing strokes or if you are doing shading, it really helps uh, you know to get uh, exact uh, shading which you want, exact features which you want and HB is very light, it, it does not smudge plus uh, you can erase it uh, very easily. After getting your accurate result on your reference, then you can move on to the darker shades. So similarly, I have done in this video also. I have made the sketch with HP, and then when I'm satisfied with the you know picture with the sketch, then I have moved on uh, to 2B and 6B and 8B and 10B further accordingly for the shading purpose. Also, I have used various uh, strokes and I have used hatching and cross hatching techniques. So, techniques are really important uh, for making a portrait. You really should know how to do strokes, how to do hatching, how to do cross hatching. Even for strokes, even for highlighting, you must start with HB first. Then, accordingly, you should move on. If there is little dark portion, you should do it with 2B. If you have to do extra dark, then you should use 8B or 10B. So, for the hairs, I've used HB first. Then I've used 2B. And then further, I'll be using 8B and 10B to make it even more dark. So, this is the way you have to follow the particular method to get, you know, to get the accurate result, to get the perfect result, you need to follow the techniques. Also, I have used butter paper for, uh, you know, keeping my hand hold so that the sketch does not smudge. So, always take a butter paper or a normal paper below your hand when you are drawing and sketching in this way you will not smudge your drawing and your drawing will be protected so you can see for the face also I have used HB pencil first you know to make the shading and then further I will be doing 2D all these strokes and highlighting you have to observe your reference picture and according to that you have to see where you have to do light strokes where you have to do dark strokes so you really need to see the source of light and your reference for shader
all the strokes and all the highlightings i'll be using paint brush to smudge all my strokes nicely you can use any paint brush which is easily available in any stationery i am using a paint brush from future cut and it's a flat paint brush so you can see how well it does it work and it gives you a smooth finish touch and after doing this smudging you can see where you have to do dark where you have to do light where you have to give white spots and again so the layering is very important in this sketch i have done at least three layers of sketching and making strokes and doing highlights so you always have to work in layers while you are doing the sketch or portrait so first with light then little dark then uh, you know darker at some places where you want to highlight and then to erase where you have to get the highlights white highlights black highlights so in that way your sketch gets completed and that's how it's not that difficult but techniques are really important while you do portraits i hope you like this video and if you like my video don't forget to like and share subscribe kala yaad Stay tuned for more such tutorials. And if you have anything in your mind, or if you want me to draw something, someone, so do comment in the comment box below. Thanks for watching.